Elastic cartilage connective tissue. This is made for Anatomy 10A lab at Mount San Antonio College. Let's review the four main tissue types we, that we have in the body. There's epithelial tissues, connective tissues, muscle tissues, and nervous tissue. Because we're talking about cartilage, we will zoom in on connective tissue. Remember, connective tissue is uh, usually seen with scatter cells. The spaces in between these scatter cells will be matrix. And oftentimes in the matrix, you will see proteins. Because we're talking about cartilage, the matrix and cartilage will be semi-solid. Although you should know that connective tissue also has liquid matrix and solid matrix. And of course, connective tissue is never found on the surface. As we're talking about elastic cartilage, we're here in this column of supporting connective tissue. There are three types of cartilages all together, and we're going to be down here talking about elastic cartilage. So, if you remember, we call this elastic cartilage because it has elastic fibers. Okay? So you may be wondering, gee, what does elastic fiber look like? Well, look back in the areolar loose connective tissue slide. The elastic fibers tend to be thin and dark. So here you see these little fine thin lines running through the matrix. Um, notice they tend to be short and it tends to be random. Okay, They don't really have one de definite direction. In addition, these are chondrocytes in lacuna. Okay, remember chondrocytes means that they are cells in cartilage, because chondro is cartilage, site is cell. And uh, these chondrocytes live in a, in a little space called lacuna. Okay, so if you look at these cells, there's a little bit of a white space around them. That would be the lacuna. Now, uh, you can think of it in the Spanish version, lacuna means crib, so that uh, you know the chondrocyte can be like a little baby lying in the crib called lacuna. Let's talk about the location. Very easy. The four E's, okay? E for elastic cartilage, E for ear, E for epiglottis, E for easy, okay? Easy elastic cartilage is in the ear and the epiglottis. Epiglottis, by the way, is in our, uh, the top of our trachea, okay? The beginning of uh, the trachea, if you will, and it, it's uh, right where the esophagus and the trachea split to help protect the uh, trachea from food falling into it, okay? So let's go on to another view. Here we have the real picture of elastic cartilage. You see how dark it stains because of all of that elastic fibers. Here's the drawing, and in the drawing you can see the little tiny cells called chondrocytes in the lacuna. But once again, outside these cells, there's a dark tone to the image because of the elastic fibers. Here's a picture drawn that's easier to see. And here you see clearly the chondrocytes in the lacuna. But in the matrix, in between these cells are these little lines. Okay? Notice how the lines are kind of running every which way. There's no distinct direction like it was in the uh, collagen fibers in the fibrocartilage. Collagen fiber and the fibrocartilage definitely had a distinct direction, and they tend to be long. Here with the elastic fibers, they're a lot shorter, and they tend to be more random. Here's a general drawing, and they're trying to show you the shorter elastic fibers tend to be more random. They're not all in the same direction. And of course, these will be chondrocytes in lacunas. Okay, elastic cartilage here. This is found in the epiglottis and the external ear. The overall darkness to this slide is because of the elastic fibers in the matrix. Easy to see the chondrocyte in a lacuna. Okay, pretty obvious there. Here we label for you the elastic fibers in the matrix, little fine dark lines and of course the chondrocyte in the lacuna. Look at that white space. The white space called lacuna surrounding the uh, chondrocyte. Another view here. 
Uh, number one is pointing to the chondrocyte site in the lacuna. Here's another next door neighbor to it. And number two is pointing to these dark lines. That would be the elastic fiber. Another view. Notice how dark the matrix are and notice the randomness of these short little elastic fibers, these short little lines. Okay? Really no unique or distinct directions for these fibers. But they kind of look like they're scattered all over. And of course, you should not miss, okay, you should be able to see these clearly, chondrocytes in lacuna. Once again, notice the large cells, the chondrocytes in the lacuna, and then outside the cells in the matrix would be the short, dark, elastic fibers. Pretty much random. Okay, no real distinct direction like it was with collagen fibers in fibrocartilage. Okay, here you should be able to see the very dark, okay, very dark matrix with the chondrocytes in lacuna, okay, for elastic cartilage. Here's somewhat low power, but still you can see the little lines for elastic fibers because this is chondrocytes in lacuna, elastic cartilage. Another look, very dark matrix, okay, and you went to high power, I'm sure you will see the dark lines uh, in the matrix, but definitely the chondrocytes in the lacuna, pretty easy to see. Very low power, but still you see the little lines running through the matrix here. Chondrocytes and lacuna with the elastic fiber. Here, see how dark the matrix looks here? All this would be elastic fibers. So this will make it chondrocytes in the lacuna here. Chondrocytes in the lacuna. So this would be elastic cartilage. Another look at elastic cartilage. Here you see a little bit of the elastic fiber coming through, okay, very clearly there. And of course these would be chondrocytes in lacuna. Once again, that dark background, that dark matrix, okay, because of the elastic fibers, kind of random elastic fibers, but yet you can see these giant cells, that would be chondrocytes in lacuna. And that's it.